The IELTS and the TOEFL are the two most popular English language proficiency exams. So if you're an international student, you know, looking to study abroad, it's like there's like a 99% chance that you have to take one of these two exams. So in this video, I want to show you guys exactly how you can choose between the IELTS and the TOEFL. So to begin with, I would just like to give you the basic difference between these two exams. Okay, so here it is. As you can see, these two exams are like very similar. Before I help you choose, let me just address the most popular question that I get asked between these two exams, okay? And that is, which one is easier? Well, the thing is, okay guys, they both test your, you know, reading, listening, speaking, and writing. They just do it in like a, in like a slightly different way. So like the IELTS will have, you know, fill in the blanks questions as well as multiple choice. And the TOEFL is, you know, mostly multiple choice. So the structure of the two exams is, you know, where they vary, but when it comes to difficulty, they're about the same. Some people will say IELTS is harder, some people will say TOEFL is harder, but in the end, it's more or less the same. Now, besides difficulty, which is more or less the same, here's an important distinction between the IELTS and the TOEFL. A solid pro of the IELTS is that it's cheaper to take and send. Now, the numbers seem to vary across countries, but here's how much it costs if you're an Indian student. However, a con with the IELTS is that some universities want physical copies and others want electronic copies. So while most universities accept electronic copies, you know, some universities like the University of Pennsylvania for their master's in computer science program, they only accept the physical copy of the IELTS result. So now how do you choose between these two exams? Okay, now here is the general trend when it comes to choosing these exams. Okay, so mainly how you choose is based on your target area of study. So you can see that, you know, in this Venn diagram, you know, some, some countries accept IELTS, some countries accept TOEFL, and then some countries accept both. So here's a rule of thumb that you can apply when you are making the decision between these two exams. So if you're applying to the US only, try to take TOEFL. If you're applying outside the US only, take IELTS. If you're applying to the US and outside the US, take IELTS, but then make sure that your US universities accept IELTS, right? So it's pretty straightforward. Like most universities outside the US only accept IELTS, which is why I, which is why I suggest that you guys take IELTS if you're not applying to the US. If you're applying to the US, technically you can take IELTS or TOEFL, but TOEFL is preferred because some universities don't accept IELTS, like for example, Stanford. However, most universities nowadays are accepting both tests. So the rule of thumb, you know, doesn't always apply. For example, many universities in the UK will accept TOEFL and many universities in the US will accept IELTS. So if both options are open to you, then how do you choose? If both options are open to you, then of course it's totally up to you, right? Now, personally, I prefer the TOEFL. Right? I, cho I took the TOEFL and it was a really smooth experience, right? So let me tell you why I prefer the TOEFL. So the TOEFL is like, you know, it's very simple. You just go to the exam center, you sit for like three, and a three hours and then you take the exam and then you leave. Whereas with the IELTS, sometimes they split the test into like two different days, right? So one day you'll have like two sections and then another day you'll have like two more sections and so on. So if you are someone who's working full time or studying full time, you may not have two full days that you can take in order to go take the test, right? Whereas with the TOEFL, you just sit once and then finish the exam and then you go home, that's it. But besides the nitty gritty details, the rule of thumb will mostly apply. If you're applying to the US, take TOEFL. If you're applying outside the US, take IELTS. If you're applying to the US and outside, take IELTS, but then make sure your US universities accept the IELTS. If you look at some target universities and you see that you know your target universities accept both the IELTS and the TOEFL, then it's you know up to you, it's personal preference. Personally, I prefer the TOEFL. So that's pretty much it. If you guys wanna see a more detailed analysis between these two examinations when it comes to exact structure and so on, I'll leave a link in the description to a blog post that we created comparing these two. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you in any way, leave a like and subscribe if you wanna stay up to date with graduate study related information. That's it for me for now and I'll see you later. Bye.